Hi, my name is Reagan Lee, and this is the backstory of a big Hollywood movie producer and EOAP partner, David Ornston. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Vallelonga. Nick is uh, playing... Derek Stevens, Detective Derek Stevens. What do you think about making a movie during COVID here? Well, I think it's amazing what uh, Rich and Dave pulled off here and George, because you know to make a movie under these circumstances is pretty rough, but everything is smooth. The COVID protocols are excellent, and it's actually, it's not that bad. Everyone knows we're in this together. Get your tests, everyone's wearing masks, social distancing. It's, uh, it's working, so they managed to pull it off, which is quite a feat, and happy to be a part of it. So I'm with Jared Brilly. He's our first AD. So making a movie in 2020 is a big challenge. This movie in particular has its own challenges, but with an experienced director, it's been, uh, it's been a fun, wild ride. Just, you know, having him on set really work through everything with an edit in his mind, it, it makes us certainly move quickly. And, and that's what you need regardless. But then when you factor in COVID, it becomes an even bigger challenge. You know, you're doing a private rehearsal with the actors. The keys come in and watch from afar. And then cast exits one direction, crew comes in another, and you're off to the races kind of planning out the day. So fortunately, everybody's been excited to get back to work. And I think the biggest thing for us has been, you know, a game crew and a game cast and, and great performances coming from them. This film has been an incredible experience. There have been ups and downs with hurricanes and, and COVID here. And it's, it's really been incredible to watch everyone come together as a team to really make this film. With Richard Salvatore, my producing partner of 25 years. The interesting part about COVID was that you had to bring people in to get a test before they were cleared to work. Where normally on a film, you know, on day four, if all of a sudden you need to add two electricians or a rigging crew, you could just add some more guys. Here, you had to have them come in on day three just to get a test, wait for their test to be cleared before they could come to work. So it started, it created a whole bunch of new challenges for the producers, especially to our UPM. We are with George Gallo. George is the director and co-writer of the script that we're doing right now. Yes. George also wrote Midnight Run. Yeah, many years ago. He also created the characters for Bad Boys. Correct. He wrote The Whole Nine Yards, number two. Yes. Um, along with The Comeback Trail, which is going to be released on 3,500 screens. He wrote and directed that movie. Co-wrote it, and I directed it. Josh Posner was my writing partner. I have to give Josh a shout-out. Tell us a little bit about your experience here, George. Uh, making a movie under COVID uh, restrictions. Uh, first of all, you know, it was uh, certainly uh, different. You adapt to it very quickly. Uh, you just have to have your mask on all the time and do your best to keep social distancing, which is some, somewhat a little difficult because old habits die hard. You know, uh, people tend to gather around monitors and... Uh, People tend to run up to each other when they're excited. It's hard to run up to someone with excitement and keep a six foot distance. But we, we managed, we managed by and large to do it and uh, um, no one's gotten sick on, on the set. And uh, you know, we just been plowing through it. It's, it but it's been interesting. I, after a while, you just get used to having a mask on all the time. It's not, it's not the most comfortable thing, but you do what you need. All right, we are with Chris Molinex. Chris, tell us a little bit about what's going on with you and the COVID experience of making this movie. <laughs> Actually, it's been pretty cool. So, I mean, everybody has been, uh, it's been very organized. Uh, everybody realizes how important it is and has been real cooperative. And Joel, tell us uh, what's been happening. Well, we're currently making a movie under COVID, which is interesting, but doable. I have to commend our producers on doing a very excellent job. It seems like there are so many things in place for our protection. You know, everything's being cleaned up. There's a lot of partitions. Everyone's wearing masks, except for me right now. <laughs> We've all been tested multiple times. When you go on location, you, uh, you know, you, 
go to a hotel and you stay in the hotel on this film we're staying in condos and my roommate is David Ornston one of the other producers who is also one of my oldest friends in Los Angeles so it's been fun rooming with Dave although you know he tends to walk around without a shirt on quite often so you know that's a little bit of uh you know I don't want to say an eyesore but you know it could be alarming if you walked around the corner <laughs> and thanks Entertainment Oxygen for, for helping spread awareness on how to make a movie in the COVID era, you know, and it's obviously something that we're troubleshooting through and, and finding the problems and holes. And I think as we see more of these videos, we'll really have a good understanding of how to battle this crazy time. I very much would like to thank Entertainment Oxygen for sponsoring this. Previously, The Longest Night, which is... That's the title of our film. And uh, it's just been a pleasure to do this. And thank you very much. Well, you done done told me and I bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through.